There's an Ohio man competing this weekend who has overcome more than a few obstacles. He's a former drug addict nearing the completion of his 100th Ironman competition. Dallas Payton has his story. This Sunday, right here in Chattanooga, Ty Crandall will be competing in his 93rd Ironman. Before this journey, Crandall dealt with a drug and alcohol addiction for 13 years. Those 13 years led to self-destruction, jail, homelessness, and thoughts of taking his life. And by the grace of God, on April 15th of 1993, I received my third drunk driving charge and I stopped using drugs and alcohol. And ever since that moment, I've been on a quest to improve as a human being. Eight years later, Crandall competed in his first Ironman competition in Panama City, Florida in 1999. What got me into the Ironman was I used to watch this back during my drug addiction and I, I saw it on television and I thought, wow, what an extraordinary event. And I came from a, you know, an athletic background with hockey and my choice to use drugs and alcohol lost that. He's now competed in Ironman competitions all over the world, racing on six of the seven continents. Since that first race, he's vowed to live by three words. That's empathy, humility, and gratitude. I am grateful to be here. I am empathetic to those that are hurting from addiction, and I apply humility to deliver a message of hope through the Racing for Recovery program. Just a few years into his journey, he started a nonprofit called Racing for Recovery. That was in 2001. It has helped thousands get back on their feet since then. My whole message through Racing for Recovery and doing these Ironman events is if, if I can do this, you can do it too. I'm not saying you have to do an Ironman to achieve sobriety. I'm saying take that term Ironman and use it to create your own balanced holistic lifestyle, uh, control mental health issues, and just go out there and enjoy life because that's what being drug free is all about. Crandall hopes that someone who's battling addiction hears his story and use it as an example of what can be done in recovery and then do it for themselves. For Local 3 News, I'm Dallas Payton.